and now for our final um, showcase here uh, we have the uh, procedural planet and look at that that's that's really nice isn't it really atmospheric so what we've got here we've got a planet planet blueprint where it's positioned we're positioned behind it i'm just going to move further away but let me just increase my camera speed a bit there we go and we've got the uh, ring itself which you've seen in the simpler um planet system and now i am going away from the planet surface and here we have it okay we've got some clouds flying around it as well as you can see over there um and we have some craters this is like a sort of a moon kind of planet uh it's really high resolution as well it's got multiple textures that are running around and it's controllable through the blueprint settings now the first settings are the ring settings which i think we've already gone through that before there's no real point in probably delving further into this really like this glare density by the way like i really really like uh playing around with it uh i find adding like this uh you know like this glare over here is just really cool um i don't know just it, it's just one of those things that i wanted to add which isn't necessarily something accurate physically accurate or anything it's just cool to like brighten up these rings with like a effect we could use like a noise pattern as well if we'd like anyway so there's various different settings in here that functions depending on certain parameters like they're, they're not going to function all the time if the right conditions aren't met so for example you can do this and turn that into something else with the plateau itself but then the plateau won't really do anything if you don't have any textures in the plateau so the textures are being loaded um into the uh, uh material itself so what i mean by this is like if you click on the planet here sorry not the sphere cloud the planet and you double click the material you'll be able to load up the textures in here if you want to change them to something else but if not these are the textures that are going to be used and then from the control over here we're able to then start uh playing around with certain settings such as you know bringing the plateau high contrast so we just made it a lot more visible around these areas um so if you decrease that number it just loses a bit some of its some of its contrast but it's it's not it's not it's not that visible unless you start really playing around with some other uh effects here like for example we've got here a magnitude which is allowing you to sort of um create different sort of shapes on it you can see you've got to uh, give it a bit of time for it to settle once you start playing around with some of these settings don't expect an interest in an instant result um unless you as i said you just wait a little bit for it to settle so now i can just go a bit back in here you can see like these trails through uh we also got a seed for it as well but that's not important uh we can increase crack depths so these cracks that are running across the planet we can increase those or not have or, or invert them so we could go the other way around but obviously just don't go too much because then you get the, these uh, weird artifacts so now they're inverted but obviously we could add them back in like that if we want okay now we can play around with the uh, size of those cracks so you know you make them a lot thicker or a lot thinner or you know it's like a scale slider effectively and i can see now i've created a sort of a marbling effect on it which is really cool because as it transition transitions through the planet it gives you various different other effects on it then we have uh craters so uh, like um punch punctures in the in the surface so normally what i would do with this is you could go for the inversion of it but they're not very visible um and if you go too much this way as well you're going to start seeing like these white parts now once we change some other settings down here that won't be uh like that like for example you could see you see just by changing some of the other settings in here we we see them differently so i would say craters are uh, are really good depending on what type of structure on the surface you're keeping right okay now what we've got is got the desert uh, waste uh, color contrast so 
most of what you're seeing in here is a desert um, and this is allowing us to increase that contrast but then the cracks are going to be you know a lot more visible then we could also have a look at increasing the normal uh in the normal of the of the desert waste um we also have planetary crack erosion which actually um you can see that it's just adding a lot more uh, detail to everything now you could go the other way around just make sure that when you do do that you sort of keep a lookout for problems that may show up so you know you can have something like that for example put that back to what it was then you got i mean the crack size if you got crack erosion in place you can then you can sort of see them as i move them around you can see the size of that there and it's a subtle effect effect it is really a subtle effect um but we can have a look at actually the the waste color won't really show up right now but we'll, we'll get there uh we can also twist around you can see you can twist around some of those planetary crack sizes we're able to increase the magnitude or we can also look at increasing waste levels so um let me just right now it's very high so if we decrease that then maybe something like that and then we're able to look at, you know, taking this size down and then look at the, uh, sorry, not the erosion. Well, something like that, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, and now we can have a look at the coloring of that. So we could just do, I'm trying to keep a sort of a, a balanced look here i'm tr maybe yeah maybe something like that you know give it a an alien vibe and then we have these upper waists where you can see them around there uh, so, uh let me just see what color would work maybe something like that yeah and then we can have a look at the plateau itself there's no color to change because there's no visible plateau right now uh we can have a look at the lower waist which is effectively what's um any everything else in here so you know maybe maybe something like that you know so yeah that pretty, that looks pretty cool doesn't it then we can increase the normal intensity if we want this to be a lot more crisp i guess but you've got to be careful with that because then you'll have issues within the you know within 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 the uh the rendering of it uh so these these are just an intensity these are just um uh, normal intensities here we can obviously also make the planet rotate around certain objects, so it's just like we can do with other um, with other things. Um, and now we can have a look at playing around with some of the other settings in here. Maybe we want to get some different kind of effects. Um, let me just see. I think one thing that we need to do is just decrease the uh, crack size. I think I think these cracks are just way too apparent everywhere. And maybe make them a bit less visible um and i think I've, we've got too much of the um of the crack size here as well probably you know it could make it a bit bigger something like that or go a bit smaller um yeah erode maybe something like that now what's important to do because you can see we're kind of keeping the same shapes what's important now to do is for you to select the planet and then have a look at the uh, material and go to the textures themselves here uh search for the textures where they are you know and then actually let me just try and put this over here close this off okay so what i want to do is i want to swap these things around so i'm going to put this one here and maybe this one here I'm going to put this sand dune over here and maybe this over here, something like that. Okay. And let's save and go back into our material. Um, and now we've changed the dynamic of the texture of the planet, right? The planet now looks different. Now I might add the textures over here so you could do this faster swapping in, in this, but we'll see. Um, effectively, what we've done now, we've, we've, de we've changed. Uh, the look of the planet. So what I mean by this is like if we just try and get something else done, you can see now that the planet looks different. Uh, but that's not to say that, um, you know, let me just try and get these cracks to be a lot more visible. 
think yeah something like that and then we can have a look at doing maybe a darker red over there and we can have a look at the increasing the waist level maybe some twists around in there as well look at the magnitude and then what else could we do uh can add some craters but got to be careful with that setting maybe some cracks as well so do that um decrease the size you know something like that that's pretty cool isn't it and then maybe look at the colors themselves maybe they're a bit too bright so look at that that's that's really beautiful isn't it now there's nothing to say that you can't go around and start creating something that looks more like planet earth or something like that so you know you could have start doing greens as well um and you know just start playing around with more like colors that would be seen in uh, in real life um so that could also be something that you can do so maybe we can do do like a blue there like that and now we just got to bring in the uh the details for it so you know those could be like oceans and rivers and stuff um i am Definitely thinking about updating to more functionality on this. Um, just trying to see what would be the best course. Because the thing is, if you don't, you've got to test this, uh, you know, quite a bit in order for you to get a look and feel of um, of what you want to achieve. So it's nothing. There's nothing that you'll be able to do straight away, just in a couple of uh, minutes or whatever. You are going to have to put in quite a bit of time. I'm on, I might be adding some uh, uh, what you got, some templates that you could load up and then that looks that way uh, straight away. So yeah, something like that maybe, you know. Uh, I just like how the finish of it and the, and the resolution of the texture is so good. Uh, and it's really, you know, it's really atmospheric. And as I said, the fact that you can make this rotate. So for example, uh, if I select directional light and just say, you know what, directional light, just go over there. And then I select the planet and be like, you know what? I want you to rotate around the directional light. And we press play. And our planet is moving around the directional light, which is really cool. That's where the, that's where the directional light is, but it's rotating around the uh, actor placement, not where the directional light is in the world, okay? But that's cinematic. Like, look at that. There we go, right? Very cool, very nice. And imagine this with a skybox and just some stars in the in the background and you know that's that's i think it's really good yeah so yeah that that's the project for the planet uh planet uh, procedural planet generator and you can see how the planet just keeps going out there into space just you know reaching some destination <laughs> as it's sort of uh, slowly uh floating on its own